Welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new if you are new then hello lovely to meet you my name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure that notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of every single time that I upload now for today's video I have quite an exciting one because we're going to be testing out a few products from an extended range by Makeup Revolution. Now, they come out with their glow range, um, I think it was last year, but the bronzers, like the matte bronzers, were a little bit too dark for me, so I never really picked anything up from that range. Um, until the other day, they launched new bronzers, but they launched like fair and like fair to light bronzers and I was like I have been after like a matte bronzer by Revolution for ages the only Revolution one I've got is by Revolution Pro so you can imagine my excitement when they released a fair bronzer so I had to pick that up and then I also picked up a couple of highlighting products by them they newly launched these liquid highlighters and they also launched these like big massive like glow highlighters so there's only a few products to test in this video but I thought I'd do a little review on all of them so if you'd like to see what I thought of them then please keep watching another thing to note is there actually are other products in this range as well I think there's like a lip balm um, and a fan and brushes and stuff but I didn't really need to test any of that out for you so I just picked up these ones and just to let you know my base is fully revolution I've got the glow foundation on I've got the conceal and define infinite concealer on and I've also got the satin foundation powder on so my skin looks really nice and glowy I'm actually entering the uh, revolution and tiktok creator challenge which I'm super excited about if you haven't heard about it yet go and check out their social so I'm in the middle of filming that as well so please go over and follow my tiktok and give the video I upload some love because I'm very excited about this competition okay so we've got a really nice glowy base on but we need to bronze up the skin massive oh so I've got a really nice glowy base on but we need to bronze up this skin massively so for the bronzer this is what the packaging looks like this is called the Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer and this costs eight pounds so it's not really affordable but the pan is absolutely massive um, I also don't understand why they released matte bronzers for this range. I thought they were going to be nice and like sheeny or shimmery, but I'm not mad at that because I love a good matte bronzer. Um, and this is what the glow packaging looks like, if you can see it. Um, and I got mine in the shade Fair. I think I did mention that. But look how big the pan is. Like, that's going to last you a really long time. And there's 15.5 grams of bronzer in here eight pounds is a little bit more pricey for evolution but because the pan is so big and there's a lot of product it's going to last you a fairly long time so i'm pretty impressed with that price range considering how much product's in here you also get a little mirror in here which is amazing so yeah i think even though it's eight pounds you get a lot for your money. So I'm gonna take my Spectrum AO1 brush and I'm gonna dab some on my brush and I'm gonna use a little mirror in here and we're gonna bronze up my skin. Okay, so this is the bronzer on and I love it. Um, this is a really good bronzer for pale skin. So if you've got a similar skin tone to me, the fair bronzer is perfect for you they also have a fair to light bronzer so if this is just a little bit too fair for you then definitely check out the fair to light shade in love with that bronzer i think it looks beautiful on my skin it gives me a really nice bronzy look and i'm also not going to contour today um, i think that's a bit too harsh for this look that i'm going for i want all of the glow soft base so we're not going to put any harsh contour down we're going to go straight to the highlighters so next we're going to try this this is the skin gloss face and body gloss i got mine in the shade gold there are three shades i believe but i decided to go for the gold shade um this costs 10 pounds so it's definitely not the most affordable like liquid highlighter but we're going to give it a go there is also just to let you know a three for two offer on at the moment at the time that i'm filming this so i actually only paid for like 
this and one of those products instead of like all three of them so if you want to save a bit of money definitely use the free for two offer um, but this is what the packaging looks like so it's just in a little pump I've also just double checked and all three of these products are cruelty free and vegan which is amazing so I think I'm just going to start by pumping a little bit on my cheekbone and then blending it in I have obviously set my base so this will be a good test to see if it will work over like matte products okay so this is what it looks like and I'm just going to use my finger to blend it in okay so this is what this side looks like i decided to do one cheek at a time just so you could clearly see the difference and there is a difference you can see this is a lot more dewy looking it's not like glitter or anything it has a really nice wet looking glow which i think will be perfect for the summertime i think it looks okay over my matte products i feel like because it's slightly got a bit of an oily consistency i feel like it'd go better over the top of your foundation and then set your base down um, but I'll definitely do that next time but as for the actual finish and look of the product it is definitely like a gloss look which I think they've named it bang on really because that is just exactly what it looks like the color of it I don't think really makes a difference it has a slight tint to it but when you blend it out you can't really see that color like I don't see any cast or anything so I'm gonna go do the other side and I'll be right back okay so I've just put it on this side as well I think the trick is to not put too much on as well I feel like the more you put on the more oily it gets and the more it could disrupt your makeup underneath so when you use this put it over the top of your just your foundation um, and use a finger to dab it in and do not use too much because then I feel like that's when it can get a bit messy but this side I think looks a lot better than this side because I actually was a bit more careful and I really like the finish of it it definitely has a really nice glossy look to it not shimmery whatsoever so I actually really like this it is expensive don't get me wrong so expensive but if you love this whole like wet looking glossy type of look then you're gonna love this okay and we have one more product to test for this video and that is the Splendor Ultra Glow Highlighter now again this is absolutely huge so I don't think you'll run out of this anytime soon this is what the packaging looks like and I got the shade so glazed for fair skin there's also a shade called luster which I think is a bit more of a pinky toned highlighter whereas this one has a bit more of a champagne -y type of tone this is what the pan of the highlighter looks like and again has a really big mirror inside so i love the packaging of these i think this is meant to be a dupe of the charlotte tilbury ones maybe um i don't have one of those to test it against it but i think that's what they were like sort of inspired by but in terms of the packaging the size i mean again this has 13 grams of product in it so this is going to last you a really long time it is eight pounds as well so the same price as the bronzer but i think the packaging the amount of product you get and i'm hoping it's going to be really good that will all make it worth the money let me just swatch this because i haven't haven't actually swatched it yet so this is what so glaze looks like it is absolutely beautiful um, and that is it swatched if this is amazing i'm definitely going to get the other shade i'm also going to use this revolution highlighter brush this is the r5 fluffy highlighter brush i don't have any more of these i just have this one because i love highlighter brushes but let's see how pigmented this is okay so i've just put the highlighter on this side i think because i've got the gloss on underneath it doesn't show it to its full potential um it does definitely look a little bit more pigmented now but the base of it is actually still quite tacky because of the gloss if that makes sense so the powder definitely helped it become a little bit more glowy in that sense but i think on its own it would look really beautiful like the swatch of it looks absolutely stunning and i just think if the gloss wasn't underneath it it would be a little bit more blinding so let's put it on this side where i was a little bit more controlled and see what it looks like
okay so this is what the highlighter looks like on this side still that beautiful glowy effect but i think that's majority from the gloss um the highlighter powder on top's definitely giving it a bit more of a blinding glow um but i just think again it doesn't give it the full potential because i've got the gloss like directly underneath so for the rest of my face like my nose and my cupid's bow and stuff i'm gonna take the highlighter on a completely different brush that hasn't had the gloss on and see what it looks like So without the gloss underneath, this is like really blinding and beautiful. With the gloss on underneath, it just makes it a little bit more glowy and not as blinding. And the gloss, I would recommend over the top of your foundation not over the top of powder okay so those are all the products i have to test for this video i'm gonna hop off camera i'm gonna go film another video and then i'll be back with my completed makeup and i can round up my thoughts and opinions so be right back okay so i'm back this is my completed makeup look now with all the makeup over the top and my eyes done and lips done and stuff this is a lot i know it's a lot but i've just tested the um morphe and avani palette i don't know when this video is going up if it's after or before this so i'll definitely link it down below if it's already up if not it's coming very soon so let's discuss these three products now firstly the bronzer i've pretty much already given you my thoughts on this because you can tell on like initial application if you're gonna like it or not i love this bronzer um i'm definitely gonna start incorporating this into my everyday makeup routine it's perfect for pale skin tones 10 out of 10 recommend you get a lot of product in here you get a mirror it's just really good and i highly highly recommend it and they've obviously got a lot of other shades as well if you're not the same skin tone as me but i absolutely love this now this gets a bit of a mixed review from me because my skin currently feels like really tacky around these areas but I obviously think that that's my fault. I think if I applied this over my foundation and then set my base it'd be a little bit better but because I applied this directly over my uh, powder, my bronzer and stuff I think that's why I'm still really sticky in this area. So this is okay it looks beautiful on the skin and in the lights as well because it reflects off of the gloss but in real life it just makes my skin look it just makes my skin feel really tacky and i'm not a big fan of that so what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna fully review this today because i feel like i need to try it in a different way before i can give you my full review I'm going to go away, test this at a different time and put it over the top of my foundation and then set it in place and see what it looks like underneath. If my opinion changes or if anything drastically changes, I'll let you know in an upcoming video. But so far, it looks beautiful on the skin, don't get me wrong, but it's the actual feel of it on my skin that I'm not a big fan of. So yeah, a bit of a mixed review on this. The actual powder highlighter is absolutely stunning i love this i feel like it's got a bit of a hard layer on top where you have to scrape it a little bit do you know what i mean because when i use this for my inner corner and brow bone today it wasn't like the most pigmented so i feel like you just need to scrape a little bit off the top layer and then you get your like pigmented highlighter but i think this is absolutely beautiful i love the shade and i'm so tempted to pick up the luster one now because i love this i think it's beautiful again you get a lot of product in here you get a mirror the packaging is stunning so for me the powder products win today over that liquid highlighter so that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button please let me know what you thought of these products and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye